close. Is there going to be the cigar at the end of it, the extra place to be gained? I don't think there is now. Coming on to the last lap, he's dropped back a little bit. You can see as they come now over the line, heading down towards the chicane, the first chicane. And as they turn their way into that part of the circuit, the gap is up to eight tenths between Suchek and Laurence Van Tour. We've seen that he can do the catching, but he hasn't been able to make really a serious bid for that place. I think we've got the order sorted. But all it takes is one tiny error on this last lap and things are going to change once more. So, here comes Greg Gilbert for second place, but ahead of them all, Alexander Prema is heading for a win. And so too is ART Grand Prix, because the number 98, McLaren, there it is, comes out of the second chicane and looks as though honours are going to go its way. It's been a very impressive weekend for ART Grand Prix. The car started on pole position and it really has not been headed throughout the race. The driver combination has been good, ART Grand Prix with a great single-seater background, now I think has got its uh, hat on as far as GT McLarens are concerned. They've gone through the growing pains of learning about this car and now, with those lessons learned, able to run as a very strong team. The gap down again last lap, seven seconds it was. And it's just Alexander Preman now striking the car home, making sure that no dramas before him on this last lap as he comes out of the chicane. ART Grand Prix is already getting ready to celebrate. There is Greg Gill there, and for Santa Lot Racing, this will be a mega result. It's a team that's been the real underdog in the Grand Prix Endurance Series. Goes well in French GT, but this, the best result it will have had on a really international stage. Out of the Parabolica, up to the chequered flag, victory in the opening round of the Blanc Pan Endurance Series goes to ART Grand Prix, to McLaren, to Alexandre Prema, to Alvaro Parent and Gregoire de Moustier. A great job done by all three of them, second across the line. For Santeloc is Greg Gilbert, third for ART Andy Suchek, and fourth, Laurence Van Tour. He did all that hard work, but he couldn't find a way through for third place. Max Boot will bring the Mercedes home fifth and sixth, and honours in the Pro-Am category will go the way of Stefano Colombo. McLaren is back in the Blanc Pan Endurance Series. So after a really troubled season last year in the endurance rounds where the cars just never really delivered what was anticipated of them this time around. McLaren throws down the gauntlet to the opposition and says, come and take us on. And there is the car that's going to win the gentleman trophy despite the uh, flapping bodywork. Alexander Mitchell, uh, sorry, Alexander Maxwell at the wheel. The GT course, Barinaldi Carl, Alexander Matchell, Pierre Ellett, and Frank Schmickler will win the Gentleman Trophy and come home in a really impressive 17th place overall. A great, great job by the team. Well, here at Monza, it's victory for McLaren. Only the second win in the history of the championship because it was Navarra two years ago that Fred Makaviki and Steph Dusseldorf and Alvaro Perret took honours. Alvaro, yet again, is involved in a win for a McLaren, no surprise there, as now the ART Grand Prix car comes through. You can see the results, McLaren wins from Audi, McLaren and Audi in fourth place. So a win for Alexander Premat, Gregoire de Moustier and Alvaro Parent in second place. Greg Gilbert, Edward Sandstrom and Stefan Ortelli, and third, Andy Suchek, along with the Kevins, Est and Coyus. Fourth, Laurence Vantor, Mark Basseng and César Ramos. Fifth, Max Book, Harold Primat and Nico Verdonk. And sixth, the winning Pro-Am car, 43 BMW, which goes the way of Stefano Comandini, Eugenio Amos and Stefano Colombo. Seventh, the quicker of the two Bentleys in the end, Duncan Tappy, Antoine Leclerc and Jerome D'Ambrosio. Eighth, the other Bentley, Stephen Kane, along with Andy Merrick and Guy Smith. Ninth, Second in Pro-Am, we didn't see it, but it happened at the end of the race. Francesco Castellacci got himself through and took second in Pro-Am, along with Stefano Gai and Andrea Rizzoli. And then 10th was the 50 Ferrari of Andrew Daniluv, Simon Knapp and Andrea Sombico. And the Gentleman Trophy won by Pierre Eret, Alexander Mapschel and Frank Schmickler. Second in the class was the Sport Garage Ferrari of Georges Cabin, Bernard Delhay and Romain Brandella. And third was the Ferrari of Felipe Barreros, Peter Mann and Francisco Guedes. So ART Grand Prix takes a 1-3. At one point, it didn't look like that was going to be the outcome, but that's the way the cars finish, and they make their way into the pit lane. The 
cars will stop at Parc Ferme and we should be able to hear from the drivers very shortly. We'll have a look at the podium ceremonies as well and catch up on the standings at the end of the opening round. This year the Blancpain Endurance Series and the Blancpain Sprint Series make up the Blancpain GT Series, the mix of sprint and GT races with the next stop for the